see. Check that out, guys. That down there is where we've started. a little gap. Uh-huh. Okay, on the other side there's actually a hole that looks off this way. Oh, okay. Looks like a window. Added spelunking. That's where I just was a few minutes ago. So my mom is down there on that rock. You can just barely see at the top of that mountain. Bad. A big sanctuary. Well worth the extra side trip. Hello! What's up guys? We are at the top of Callaway Peak. Grandfather Mountain, North Carolina. What's up guys? So... Just finished a hike with my dad, uh, just about eight miles total. Um, we went to the top of Grandfather Mountain and hiked across the ridge line to McRae's Peak, which is about 5,800 feet elevation above sea level, and then went on up to. So I'm behind my parents on the road right now. My mom came and picked my dad and I up at the Profile Trailhead which is about seven miles drive from where we started. So, but it's all back up the hill and you can't hike back to the top of Grandfather Mountain on the road. They won't let you walk the road, which is smart because it's really well traveled and unsafe to walk. Excuse me. I am worn out, folks. I did a lot better than I thought I would though. Um, I told my dad that this is really the first opportunity that I've had to to really look at myself and realize, hey, you may not feel like it all the time, but I have lost 50 pounds makes a world of difference. And I'm, I'm right there at that 50 pound mark. I'm about to cross that threshold. Um, so at this point, it's the road to 199. And I plan on being there by October the 3rd. October 3rd is my birthday. And I plan on weighing less than 200 pounds on my birthday. I realize it may fluctuate a little bit after that. You know, I may gain a couple and lose them back, but my goal to step on that scale on October 3rd and weigh 199 or less. So I'm going to start exercising every day between now and then and start adding that to my daily routine and see what I can do to make that goal happen. Um, that's what, six, seven, eight, nine, that's 10 days. That's 10 days and you know, that's, that's going to be a job, but I'm, I'm going to get it done. So anyway, I hope you guys have had a great weekend. I know it's Monday already. I took a personal day from work today and decided I was going to hike this trail come hell or high water, as they say. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. Two years ago, just over two years ago, I wanted to do that trail and I was going to do it by myself. I'm glad I did not do it by myself. I think God was watching out for me. Um, 
the trail, you'll see on the TikTok videos, the trail has several cables and ladders that you have to scale and lots of rock faces that you kind of have to clamber up and down at some point. And uh, I got about maybe just under half a mile in. I mean, I could you could still hear cars parking at the what we call the top shop, which is the, the top of the Grandfather Mountain where you can park your car to go to the Swinging Bridge. Um, it's also the trailhead for that side of the profile trail. And I could still hear cars. I'd stop to take a picture of the view, and this couple and their daughter, who's probably 22, 23 years old, they were coming up coming up the rocks right in front of me and I was already getting up there's a little bench there they call it the patio I was already getting up and, and getting ready to move on and they said could we sit there for a moment and I said yeah I'm getting up anyway no worries and I'm like I'd have given up the seat anyway I mean that's you know my grandma would reach up and smack me from a distance if she'd known I wouldn't give up my seat for a girl um well she sat down and I could tell she was in pain and I almost walked away and you know was going to keep on hoofing it because I, you know, they were really close to the parking lot. I didn't really think much of it. And then something made me rethink that. And I turned around and I said, hey, you know, my name's TJ. My dad works here at the mountain. Um, I'm wilderness first aid trained. Would you like me to take a look at you? Because her daughter told me that she had fallen on some rocks and really hurt her, her ankle is what they thought, or her knee, twisted her knee. And so I said, would you mind if I checked you out? And they said, absolutely, please. And, you know, I had my wilderness first aid training card on me, all that kind of stuff. I'm like, feel free to look through any of my credentials. Um, but at any rate, I, you know, I checked her leg out and I said, ma'am, I said, please don't take this the wrong way. I said, but I need to cut your pant leg off. And she said, why? And I said, well, your knee is swelling rather rapidly and it's going to have to come off or you're going to be in a lot more pain because she, she wasn't wearing tight hiking pants but they were they were almost form fitting for her I would say so I cut her pant leg off about two inches above her knee which gave the knee room to swell out to where it wanted to and I kind of ran my hand down her leg and said you know, is this tender is this tender and when I got to the spot where it hurt I said okay I said you fractured your leg and I said, how can you tell? You don't have an x-ray machine. You don't, you, you, maybe you don't know what you're talking about. And I said, no, I'm telling you right now. I said, you have fractured your leg. I said, you know, you don't have to take my word for it. I said, but I wish, I hope you do. I said, you know, I'm not a nurse. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a CNA. I'm not any of that. I said, but my mom is an ICU nurse at Watauga Medical. I said, you will see her when you go to the emergency room. I said, because we're going to have to take you. Um. I really didn't think I'd have any cell reception up there, but I did. I had 4G, and I called, tried to call my dad, but he was working the gate that day, bringing people in and out because it was a really busy day for the mountains. So they put people on the gate uh, to direct traffic from the road, not just the people in the gatehouse. Um, and then when I couldn't get a hold of him, I just looked up the number for Grandfather Mountain, and they put me through to the gatehouse. And I, you know, I need to talk to Terry. It's my dad's name too. So I need to talk to Terry, and they're like, well, he's working. I said, I don't care what he's doing. I said, I've got a lady up here with a broken leg at the patio, and I need two or three guys to come up here and help me cart this woman off. Her husband was uh, a thinner guy, and I've got bad knees anyway. I mean, in reality, I've got no business doing all the hiking that I do, but I love to do it, so I keep on doing it. Um, so his name was Sterling, if I remember right. I don't remember her name, and I don't remember their daughter's name, but I remember his name was Sterling, and it's like, Sampleton or Ampleton or something. It was a something ton. Unton. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so I really didn't think he and I would be able to get her down. And I didn't want to put any extra pressure on the girl because she looked kind of frazzled. Uh, the daughter did. So. so I waited up there. They sent three what they call trail mules. They're just the hikers that come up there to get them. And They've got these huge backpacks, man. I don't know how they're carrying those things, but they've had some training recently to, to downsize those things because they had stuff in there they had no business carrying, um, and they couldn't get to anything. I mean, when you overpack, you know, you, you guys remember the video where I said, get ready with me for a hiking trip. It's not about having a bunch of stuff. You just have, en have to have enough of a little bit of everything that you might need. And, you know, their packs, I mean... You, you all saw the one I was carrying. Their packs were at least 10 times that size. I'm not joking. They looked like they were packed for a 12-day backpacking trip. 
But <clears throat> at any rate, the five of us got her down and they took her to the hospital and we ran into them in Blowing Rock, another little community here near Grandfather Mountain. And there's a spice store there that I go in all the time and get spices because they're these like homemade blends and it's really incredible. Um, so we went in that store and I recognized them right away. I wasn't going to say anything. Like I'm, I'm not the kind of guy who like is going to go look for recognition or anything like that. But the girl pulls her mom's shoulder and she said, mom, that's the guy. And she's like, you were right. I have a green stick fracture in my leg. I can't believe it. And you know, for me, it was, it was more about how the leg was swelling, where it hurt. Like it didn't hurt near her knee or near her ankle. It was right in the middle of her tibia or fibula. I can't remember which one, whether it was in the back or the front. But anyway, they, um, they took her to the hospital. She had a green stick fracture. They had, uh, put a, a bandage on it, like a, like a tight wrap on it, not a cast, and then they gave it, given her a cane. So she was very lucky that it wasn't more of a break. Um, I don't know where we're going to eat. We're going to eat somewhere, but um, she was really lucky it wasn't more of a break, and she uh, she thanked me a hundred times for, for helping her. Um, and then... Um, she thanked me and, and we went we went about our way but uh, very nice couple nice girl um, so hopefully they'll come back to the mountain I hope that didn't spur them from, from ever coming back but uh, I'm going to shut you guys down for just a second and give you a different view that mountain up there that's where I just was that is Callaway Peak all the way up there um there's actually another peak kind of right behind it that's the actual summit of the mountain. That's where we were. Um, I guess we're going to the Peddling Pig. That's what she's got her blinker turned on for. I thought we were going to some Italian place in Pinola. I told her it didn't matter to me where we ate. I was just hungry. And I mean hungry. But almost eight miles will do that to you for sure. So I'm going to get off here, guys. Uh, I'll be back in a little bit and, and vlog a little bit more. And we'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, my phone died. This is about the best view I'm going to be able to get you guys on the way out. Thanks for hiking with us today. That is the Forrest Gump curve. Forrest Gump ran this curve in the movie. Beautiful. All right, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we just had dinner. It's Peddling Pig. We had a sampler platter for two that we split between the three of us and we still couldn't finish it. I probably could have eaten more, but I realized at some point I'd already eaten more than I've eaten at a meal in a long time, so I stopped. And we brought the rest of the meat home, and I'm just going to scramble an egg in the morning and eat that before I leave North Carolina. I've got um, uh, about a five-hour trip ahead of me tomorrow morning. I'm probably going to leave about 6.30 or 7 our time and then that would put me back before, right at lunch or before lunch uh, to work and I have a board meeting tomorrow so I have to be back tomorrow afternoon um, so it's been a great two days up here this is kind of like my happy place well my second most happy place but my happy place and uh, the hike was enlightening views were outstanding. I can't wait for y'all to see them. Um, remember, 250 subscribers, we'll do a giveaway. Um, at 1,000, we'll go live. 500, we'll give a giveaway. 750, we'll do a giveaway. You know, just push us up to that 1,000 subscriber mark if y'all want me to go live. I don't mind one bit. Um, I enjoy talking to you guys, even though I can't read your responses until well, long after the fact. Um, I really appreciate everybody toning down the negativity and the stupid comments and stuff that you know are going to get deleted. I thank you for that. It makes my mods and I both happy. Um, <coughs> goodness gracious. The chest is a little tight from the hike. It's been uh, it was the, the last mile and a half, two miles, 
were the roughest, and I don't think I would, I don't know that I'd ever hike that trail again all the way through. I've done it once now, that's enough for me. Um, now, I mean, if something happened and, you know, somebody really wanted to go on that trail, and yeah, I'd, I'd probably take them. Um, but I'll be in better shape the next time I go, too. Uh, I'm in better shape now than I have been in almost 10 years. And by the time I get ready to do that trail again, I'll be in even better shape. So, uh, we're about halfway back to Mom and Dad's house now. Their little cabin they're renting. Uh, oh, goodness gracious, excuse me. Oh. I always notice new little buildings and shops when I drive through here, and I've been through here a thousand times, but I always notice something new. Y'all ever, y'all ever do that? You're driving somewhere you've always been, always gone through, and, and you notice something new. It's, it's refreshing. Um, hope y'all have had a great weekend. Hope y'all have had a great Monday. I'm going to hop off here. We're turning onto the road from mom and dad's house and I'm probably going to pass out cold pretty quick after I get to the house. I'm going to try and piece the video together for you so if you see this tonight, good. If you see it on Tuesday, sorry it's a day late. But anyway, have a good night guys. Love you. Pray for you. Talk to you soon.